This is a video that I don't want to make, but I feel like I, I need to make uh, to kind of give you guys an update on my life. Uh, open up a little bit about my relationship status. Haha. -ha. I broke up with. Ah, um, oh, shit. <laughs> Welcome to MTV Cribs, and right here, you see, is my beautiful mansion that's been passed down. Um, actually, no, I bought this. Uh, I this this was uh, purchased in the. Can you get the fuck off my property? What? Let me teach you gentlemen a little something about chivalry. All right. I literally have a jacket already. Oh! Let me double layer you, honey. Hold on. Let me. There we go. First of all, can you not do okay. that? Can you just wear can wear a turtleneck next? Like this is like you Why are you can't, jealous? huh? Why are you jealous? I'm not jealous. I'm just saying you can't be moving too much of your legs. That that's okay. Relax. That's, relax. I just relax. it's it's a little revealing. I just feel like since you my girl now, I can't have you other guys looking at you like that. You know what I'm saying? I just I I can't. Sir, can you not look at her like that? I I just I, that, that was real really disrespectful. I really don't want you to. Babe, can you not walk like that either? Like, can you walk like this? Yo, it's a little too revealing. What about you? What about you? No, see, I'm, I'm covered from head to toe. You, the... All right. Wait, hold up. I'm, I'm, I gotta button this up, babe. Hold up. Now that I'm like cuffed, I can't have other guys looking at you, babe. I can't. We gonna cover up. Why did you? Oh my god. Nate. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Babe, can you wear these pants, please? Sir, I, one more time, I just, it, it, hey man, can you not look at my girl like that? I know, is she wearing something revealing right now. I Can you just not look at her like that, bro? I can't insecure No, no, it's not about insecurity. I just feel like you, you I just feel like you're wearing, yo, homie, can you not look at my, can, no, 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 listen, listen, I feel like, can you, no, no, don't even look at her, don't even look at her, bro. Don't even look at. Close your eyes. Please. Why Don't. are you disrespecting him? No, why are you disrespecting our relationship? I'm wearing it's something over, like that. Jimmy. No, yeah. it's not. It's we can. Over. No, it's not. Yeah. We can wear something. Yo, her titties it's popping top. out, bro. It's top. It's her top. her it's titties top. popping out, homie. No, 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 no. You're not it's gonna steal my girl like that. Not. Um, I'll say this. I always take my relationship problems to the streets. So as always, how to get over a breakup? How to how to get over heartbreak? How to be a how to stop being a simp? I feel like you need a simp. Do exes become stay friends after that? that these are all questions that that's been like in my head the, the past couple days. So this is probably my gonna be my only sad video. It's just gonna be depression. This entire video, guys. There's this great quote by, by Patrice O'Neill. Men don't want to be lonely, but they want to be alone. I want to be left alone, but I don't want to feel lonely. And I feel lonely after this breakup. These streets are not going to let me be a simp, especially in New York. I just recently went through a breakup. I'm trying to not not to simp, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm trying not to. Yeah, I'm trying to like, what simp is? Yeah. Uh, I'm dealing with a little something right now. It's called simping. You got some. You got some tears in your eyes, bro. You 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 simping with me? <laughs> nah. You don't fuck with simps? I don't. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Cause I'm not a simp. No, I am. I just got through a breakup. Is what is what happened. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need some some real like gangster advice. I'm gonna need you to tell me how to be a man again, bro. I'm gonna need to slap some fucking sense into me. Jump me, bro. Oh wow. <laughs> First of all, any advice on getting over process? and all that don't be a simp that's it right. <laughs> uh yeah i just wanted to ask you what, what do you what do you think is the best way to get over a breakup um look for a new girl immediately that doesn't work if you go through a heartbreak it's like you have to go through it it's like you don't want to rush into something else because the emotions are still there you can't just get over something hella quick you know he's like men try to suppress their emotions and, and try to cap saying that oh i don't 
you know, let me just let me walk this shit off. Let me walk this heartbreak off. Can I get some advice on 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 a, on a breakup? Yeah. You see this for tatted on me? Bands. Get money. Bands. Fuck bitches. Focus on what you want to do. Right. Fuck the bitch, man. That, that, I'm telling you right now, bro. Fuck what the bitch said, bro. Really forget about everything. Worry about the money. Worry about happiness first. You come first. Your, your, yourself, your feelings, your emotions, it's all the priority first. I mean, she want to break up and do her thing, be no, a little dot. You did? Oh, so do you think, bro? You feel bad though? Uh, yeah. You miss her. I, I do. But, but, but why you broke up with her though? Was it for a cause? It was for a cause. What, was it, was it to no, better? No, 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 not for a cause. No, no, it nah, wasn't nah, for a nah, 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 nah. The relationship was getting toxic. Uh, see? Yeah. So they did. Yeah, so they, what you did was you did a smart thing. You didn't want to be in no toxic relationship, and that's just that. You did good, bro, for me. Now worry about yourself, be happy, bro. You don't need none of that negative energy, 2020, good vibes only. Now question, What's up? do you think you could be friends with your exes? It depends on the situation. It could be on some, I like, you know, if we cool, if we broke up on, on a good note, then yeah. But if y'all broke up on a bad note, she's crazy, she don't know how to control your emotions, then skirt to the curb, bro, that ass. How you get over a breakup? Any advice on how to get over a breakup? Oh, man, you came to the right person. How did you get over a breakup? Yeah. And you talking to me, because I just I just got it. How you get over it? Yeah. Just say the hell with it. The hell with it? Yeah, just let it go. If you think about it, you're going to go crazy. You're going to lose your mind. So you don't want to lose your mind. You can't stop not think about it. Like when you in bed what at night. And how, well, how you know what she thinking? She might be saying, I'm so glad to get over that jerk. So where did I leave you at? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's so true. you don't want to lose your mind and you don't want to lose no sleep over it. Right. Because she might not be losing no sleep over right. it. She's probably getting you dick. Right. And who says she's not? Right. She might have had two guys in the, in the first place. She over there getting gang banged, bro. Yeah. Gang -bang. What? That's crazy. She getting nutted on. She getting nutted she on. She getting finished on. Nutted. All nut. All uh, in her face. Like in her face. A mad nut in her on, face. On, on How about that guy? On the mad nut in her face. And he's like this. And he, and he in the house like this. Yeah, what am my baby doing? <laughs> Mad in the face! <laughs> Get it on this guy! Hey! Get that shit off your face, bro. Oh. How I got nutted on, bro? I got some of that uh secondhand nut. I got the ricochet nut, bro. Bounced off of her head onto me. I walked in the door. Hey, I missed. Just. <sighs> That's reality, though, you know? This is what are you doing? You look like a Chinese dad right now. <laughs> She's saying, bitch, I'm paid. That's all I gotta say. I'm like, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? After all these years, I make a wheezy fan out of you too. Yeah. <laughs> Wall for me one time. Hey, there we go. Out of you too, you too, you too. When I met you, you were crazy. Hey. 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 Do you think exes can be friends? No. I don't no, think so. No. <laughs> really? I mean, like, I'm friends with my ex right now, but I feel like we can't really just be friends. How long ago did you guys? Um, like four months ago. Damn. <laughs> like, you guys live close to each other, you know? Like, you guys want to see each other. Oh, shit. You say no, no to being friends with it. No, I don't think so. You can't be a mature person and just be like, okay, we're let's go on coffee dates or let, let's just chill. You can be friendly with a person. Uh, I think there's a difference between like being friendly and being friends. On what terms did you guys break up? Um, bad terms. Bad terms. I was like, you know what? Like, I really like him as a person, so. Did he cheat? Uh, like something. <laughs> see, you can't see. I, guys are stupid, right? They they should never cheat, never cheat under any any circumstance. But they should propose threesomes. <laughs> <laughs> under those contexts, it's not cheating. <laughs> Foursomes work, orgies also work. <laughs> it's an experience. Um, do you think you could be friends with your exes? Yeah. yeah. Depending on how it ends. Like over time, not like right off. Not the yet. Like I'm cool with my ex, but it took us like a year 
to like get to like to the point where like we could like talk my ex all the time. Hates me. He called me a gold digger. I think but it depends on your maturity and level. And a cheater. So <laughs> oh, okay. I but you cheated cheat. though? Hell no. He just spread rumors about me because I broke up with his grimy ass. Have you ever tried to be friends with an ex? I have, and, it, it, and it, it, I try. I mean, yeah, but you know, feelings do get wrapped around yeah. sometimes. So, <laughs> so, so you did do that as friends with better friends. I did. I tried to do that for me, but it ain't work out. I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't do that. For How me. long did you do that for? I ain't gonna lie, dude. We for like a good six months on that, bro. Oh, <laughs> you gotta learn to really give up things that you really like the most, but it, but it's you, know, you gotta be sacrificed. Exactly. Would you rather deal with that toxic shit though? You don't want to deal no. with that every day. No, I, that's why I made the decision. Exactly. Because it was yeah. obviously making you unhappy in a way. Right, right. I mean, heartbreaks hasn't really come around as much, you know, because I'm, you know, I pick. I, my choices are very. Uh, Strategic. Go through a heartbreak. You know, I I have so many oh, ways. You plan holes uh, ahead of you. Yo, you know what I mean. I see that, bro. Like, you know, make sure you have the rubber on you at all times. You know. Who was playing ahead of time? Like, options. You know what I mean. You got. I, I got like five girls on the line. Now let me stop. Let me stop playing. <laughs> Yo, that rotation fire. I mean, as you should, bro. Each girl has a role to fill. Right now, I'm trying to find one girl for like emotional support, one girl who, who I could just clap, one girl who, you know, I don't know, who I could like look up to. I, you know, I feel like there's one girl for each role that I'm trying to like fill the void of one full relationship. You know? Once you've gone through your breakup and like months have went by, and then you know, you've reviewed it with your ex, and then it's like, nah, it's over, you got your options from there, and then you could come pick your options and your contacts from there. Pornhub. <laughs> I've been on that. Well, I've been on that. Nah, it's NyQuil for me at this point. What? what? It, it just helps me fall asleep. It helps me go to sleep. I need that. Is that a shot? Oh! Actually? Oh, my shit. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Don't worry, you know. I'm gonna go back to work. See you guys. All right. Man, it really came out of nowhere with shot. I used to shut my door when my mother screamed in the kitchen. I turned the music. Ah, <sighs> this is the softest thing that I've ever done, probably. Um, breaking up with someone that you still love and you care for is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. And then looking at moments like these, it makes me question, why did I want to break up with her? It's like me, and loving is hard. It don't always work. You just try your best not to get hurt. I used to be mad, but now I know. Sometimes it's better to let someone go. It just hadn't hit me yet. The older I get. I used to work it's moments like these where it's so beautiful right? It's just us two in the middle of the ocean Sharing our secrets Talking about our dreams And Making love <laughs> Fuck it no, um, It's picture perfect moments like these That you see on Instagram And Tumblr That you see on <clears throat> all those travel videos, you know, holding hands with your partner, right? Well, here, here, here you go. Here it is. Here are those moments right here during a breakup video. <laughs> moments like these are so beautiful, right? It makes you forget about all the person's flaws. It makes you so present in the moment, and you're just enjoying that other person's company. But know that it's just a moment and moments go moments pass other moments will happen this is where reality sets in behind the scenes what you guys don't see is the amount of fights we had especially towards the end of our relationship it was getting so toxic where the arguments were turned into verbal and emotional abuse it would just leave us crying Scratching our heads, thinking, what, what's, what's the point of this? And that turns into a lot of mental and emotional labor. And it really drains the life out of you. That's when I respect myself enough. And I had enough self-awareness to realize when 
this is the time to walk away. See, being in a good relationship requires time, energy, good communication, and other investments. And yeah, it is selfish to leave on that note. But it would also be selfish of me to string Sylvia along and not give everything that she wants. And deserves. But in the end, we agreed that we're not working in a relationship. But hey, we could still be friends, right? Not all relationships have to end on such a sour note. And not all relationships are meant to last forever. And that's okay. I'm glad that we have it. And I'm glad that we were able to share these fun moments together. Just know that I'll always cherish these moments. Because you'll always have a place in my heart.